Hello dentists, I hope you're fine today. This channel uh, helps dentists and undergraduate and postgraduate uh, dentists to know how to deal with patients coming to the clinic. Let's see what is our case today and how to deal with patients. So the patient comes here to this clinic and uh, wants to know about the advantages and disadvantages of composite restoration over amalgam. So a uh, patient here is confused and really wants to know what, uh, which uh, type of uh, restoration to choose, uh, the composite or the amalgam. So uh, what the dentist is going to do, he's going to explain the advantages and disadvantages of each material to the patient. So let's start uh, to know what's going to do, what is the dentist going to do. The patient, uh, the doctor will introduce himself to the patient, then explain the advantages. He should explain the advantages and disadvantages of composite restoration compared with amalgam restoration. So let's start off with the advantages of composite restoration. So the advantages of compo composite restoration, firstly, it's it's aesthetics. It's aesthetics. This means that color is really close to the almost the same color as the tooth structure, and there are different shades and the and the dentist will choose the most appropriate uh, color which is really uh, matches with the color of the tooth of the patient second uh, advantage is conservative Conser conservative removal of the tooth structure which means less extension uniform depth not necessary mechanical retention not usually necessary so it's conservative this means that uh, you don't have to remove a lot of the tooth structure from the tooth in order to put the filling uh, like uh, compared with amalgam amalgam you have to remo uh, remove a lot of tooth structure and uh, in order to make extension for prevention so uh, the composite here is less complex when, com uh, when preparing the tooth provides insulation it's uh, good insulator has low thermal conductivity bonds to the tooth structure result in good retention uh, decays micro leakage, minimal uh, interfacial staining, and increase in strength of remaining tooth structure because uh, we remove very few of the from the tooth structure. So this means the tooth is really strong. Okay, compared with that of amalgam, amalgam we have to remove a lot of uh, from the tooth structure, so the tooth becomes weak. It is repairable. This means that uh, if anything, if it broke or something you can come uh, back to repair the filling so can okay, you see now this is an amalgam uh, this is a composite um, composite restoration and this is uh, here in this case here uh, the pa uh, the doctor will make uh, a bevel and then start uh, itching okay and then uh, removing of the itchings and then puts the bond the bonding and then the uh, final composite uh, restoration which is the increment and increment until it, re it uh, forms the remaining tooth uh, remaining tooth the disadvantages of composite restoration it is uh, potential for gap formation as a result of polymerization shrinkage this means that composite has uh, an advantage disadvantage of polymerization making formation of a gap between the uh, composite and the tooth structure formation of gap may occur as a result of polymerization shrinkage it makes it makes the, polymer, the composite sh may shrink it's more difficult time consuming and costly prepared compared with amalgam why let's see why because a uh, treatment usually requires multiple steps so we have to make a lot of steps in cases of in case of composite we're going to I'm going to show you how uh, insertion in uh, is more difficult depth of the cure is limited establishing proximal contact uh, axial contour invasions and occlusal contact may may be more difficult fishing and polishing procedures are more difficult okay so these are the things that uh, uh, may um, show that uh, composite is time consuming costly and more difficult for uh, uh, making compared to that of amalgam uh, it's a uh, more technique sensitive this means that uh, you have to make a good isolation this means you have to put a cotton pellet here 
okay, or uh, use um, uh, a rubber dam in order to avoid the uh, saliva from uh, to come in contact with the tooth structure and the uh, to uh, and the preparation. So good. So more technique centered. This means you have to make good isolation, patient primer and adhesive are used and uh, may exhibit greater occlusal wear it may wear by time if it's used for the, occlu uh, the posterior teeth normally we use the composite for anterior teeth because it's aesthetics so we use it for anterior premolars um, for aesthetics uh, but normally we use our, uh, amalgam for the posterior teeth because of its strength okay uh, so but uh, sometimes patients they want it for aesthetics so they you can they can use uh, the composite over the um, uh, posterior teeth but its disadvantage you can wear out by time so uh, may exhibit a great occlusal wear in areas of high occlusal high occlusal stress so or when all the tooth occlusal contacts are on the composite material higher linear coefficient of thermal expansion results in potential potential marginal percolation if inadequate bonding technique is utilized so if inadequate bonding technique is used that is used what's going to happen it, uh, it will lead to linear higher linear coefficient of thermal expansion so we talked now about the advantages and disadvantages of composite restoration can you see now here uh, the um, uh, the finishing and polishing procedure are more difficult so t and it's time consuming okay but it uh, when it's you can you see it's aesthetics are really nice when you can't differentiate it clearly from the tooth structure but it's time consuming can you see why uh, because um, here you have to make a lot of steps can you see cavity after cavity preparation you make etching with uh, uh, fosonic acid then using with water then drying then putting the bonds and then light curing the bonds and then you place the composite increment by increments okay piece of increment means piece by piece and light curing light curing each increment you have to make a light cure for each incre increment until you fill in the whole cavity and then you finally you make polishing polishing and finishing so all these steps will be done in composite there are, we don't do all these steps we just make we put the amalgam and then condensation and burnishing and then prep uh, finishing okay so let's see now we'll go to the advantages and disadvantages of amalgam restoration can you see the difference the color is totally different so the advantage let's see what's the advantage but there must be an uh, advantage advantages of amalgam restoration ease of use so it's very easy to use it okay high compressive strength it's used for posterior teeth so it can withstand a lot of strength um uh, excellent wear resistance it doesn't wear favorable uh, long-term clinical research results low co lower cost than for uh, than that of composite so it's more cheaper okay can you see but uh, the main disadvantages is to it's the stain can you see it doesn't uh, you can really sh see the shadow okay so this is the advantage of amalgam restoration what is the disadvantage not aesthetic so we, it's really uh, really not really nice because we can't use it for the anterior teeth no isolation no sorry no insulation no insulation it's uh, it has uh, you can make you can get uh, galvanic shock uh, less uh, conservative less conservative this means we more removal of the tooth structure during tooth preparation so we have to remove uh, you see we have to remove a lot of tooth structure and so the uh, tooth becomes very weak okay so this is one of the disadvantages uh, weakness of the tooth structure less bonded initial micro leakage when we put the uh, when we fill in the after condensation and burnishing and then uh, uh, carving okay uh, what uh, and then uh, so what happens when the patient uh, the first few days uh, initial their uh, initial micro leakage will happen 
uh, more uh, difficult uh, pre preparation so it's more difficult for it takes time it, uh, a little bit of time for to preparation here i want to say one of the com important uh, comments okay uh, bonded amalgams have bonding benefits so this uh, type of amalgam is has less uh, its benefit is it less micro leakage less interfacial staining slightly increased strength of the remaining tooth structure minimal post operative sensitivity some retention benefits however bonded amalgam are more uh, technique sensitive compared with con conventional amalgam restoration okay so now you took uh, we took the advantages and disadvantages of amalgam restoration so can you see it's aesthetic is really bad and recurrent caries you cure by time okay this is the uh, composite filling conservative this is you have to make exception for prevention okay more uh, cutting of the tooth structure here less more conservative uh, can you see a lot of uh, color okay like this uh, so the silver amalgam filling have been have fillings have been replaced with tooth color composite fillings after removal of the decay under the uh, the metal fillings, which is secondary caries. So we have to remove the secondary caries. Then we start filling, changing the filling from amalgam to composite filling. I hope today's uh, topic was uh, nice uh, and uh, and and now you knew you know how to deal with the patient coming in. Uh, really con confused about which type of uh, restoration to choose and i told you now we you know how to what are we going to do in this such a case uh, have a good day thanks for listening and bye for now